All right, so if you've been following my journey, you know that I was telling you guys maybe about six or seven months ago, maybe a little longer, I'm not sure, but um, I was letting you guys know that I was letting go of all of my listings and faith and obedience, and I wanted to tell you in the middle of it so that you could follow it. You know, a lot of people tell faith stories after they've accomplished it, after they conquered, or whatever the case may be, but I wanted you guys to be in the middle of my journey. So I had given all my listings to um, my teammates in obedience to what I believe God told me, right? And then not too long after that, I had started a partnership that opened up a couple of different avenues, one of which was flipping homes, right? And that's the one that I know that the Lord definitely led me to. So Sparks, Lonzy, and I, and I know y'all have been seeing Sparkle and Lonzy on my YouTube channel like every other month, but we opened up not only the investment company Flipping Homes, we decided to open up a consulting company and a wholesale company too, all within six months. I think less than six months, really. Yeah, we started in September, so yeah, less than six months. And then I also started writing hard money loans, and then doors started opening for my husband, to open a candy store, and I had to start working on that since he wasn't, you know, he wasn't home yet, he'll be home soon. And then I was still running Trinity and trying to make sure everything was smooth with that. You know, my agent's good, they're accounted for, they're having the accountability meetings, the marketing is good, prospecting plans good, all the stuff, you know, that comes with running a real estate company as well as being a full-time mother, a minister in training, and doing YouTube. And all the other stuff that I already have on my plate, right? And it just like really, it really got overwhelming for me. You know, it was a lot. And I felt like I was just all over the place. I didn't know if I was coming or going. I felt like I ain't had no control over my calendar, my life, nothing. So I'm like, all right, Lord, what am I supposed to be doing, right? And I remember when the Lord had me just focusing on Trinity. And it was like, it was really easy. That was like really easy. It was flowing and but I had got to a point where I was a little bored, you know, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. And I'm like a person that like to have multiple irons in the fire, multiple streams of income. I like being busy, but maybe I should have added one or two things, not like 10, <laughs> no, I ain't add 10, but it felt like it. But I'm doing all these things. I was doing all these things and literally my schedule was all over the place. I felt like, I told you, I felt like I had no control. So I was just doing what I had to do to make it happen, you know, doing all those things I had taken on. And I was being productive, but not totally productive because something is gonna lack, like something is gonna lack if you take on too much, right? Something, you can't, you're not gonna be able to give your attention to everything at one time. So, you know, stuff started lacking. So I'm like, all right, pause. So I started talking to the Lord about what I was gonna, you know, let go of. And in my mind, what I was going to let go of was something totally different. It was the hard money loans because I'm like, this is something I'm doing on my own. I'm doing it by myself, you know, and it's a newer task. Maybe I should just let that go. But it's important to not just go with your first thought, but pray it out and ask the Lord what's best and wait on the answer. <laughs> That's the thing, waiting on the answer. So in my waiting period, I ended up talking to my woman of God. I was going through the line at church and she was like, all right, so what you got on your plate? What's, name the things you got on your plate. I'm like, it's so many. She's like, okay, well, you're not leaving the line until you tell me all the things, list the things you got on your plate. And I'm like, okay. So I listed them and it was about six things. And she was like, all right, so how many things should you have on your plate if you are, you know, fixing your plate for dinner? Like how many things you usually have, you usually have on your plate? I'm like three. She said, okay, so you need to get down to three things. I'm like, three things? <laughs> Okay, she like, think about it. Like if you were at, even at Thanksgiving, we got all these different things on your plate, you tired, you on the couch, you can't move, you know, like <laughs> just in a nat, like just in a natural example of eating food on Thanksgiving, you got too many things on your plate. You're gonna be wore out, right? You're gonna be comatose, you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna wanna get up <laughs> because you done ate too much, right? So she said, get down to three things. So I'm like, okay. And that kind of made it harder for me in my mind. I'm like, what am I gonna let go? How am I gonna let go of three things? Like I was thinking of maybe one, but I took her advice because she has wisdom, right? So in my mind, I'm like, I don't wanna let go of anything that my partners and I are doing, right? And I didn't want anybody that came on the team with us, you know, in the new, new ventures we started to go lacking or anything like that. So I'm praying in the spirit and just like really lifting it up to God. And it was amazing that he gave me one thing to stop 
And then another thing, he had already slowed down a bit, had told me to slow down a bit until my husband came home and helped me with it. And then the other thing he had kind of scaled back, told me to scale back on. So I'm like, oh, that's my three things, right? And it was so amazing because um, me and my me and my teammates are, we do a, a leadership call every every morning, right? And on that leadership call, the day that he told me that, my partners were like, they were talking, they like, you know, I, we was thinking about this and we think we should let this one go, this um, this thing go. And I'm like, that's the same thing the Lord told me to let go, right? And then, you know, they were like, maybe we should scale this back and only do this. And it was the same thing the Lord told me to scale back. I'm like, Lord, you are so amazing because not only did he give me the answer, but he confirmed it, right? He's so faithful, so super faithful. And he'll give us the answers we need if we seek them, right? The Bible say, acknowledge him in all our ways and he'll direct our path. So I was so grateful, like, for me, hearing from the Lord is like the most important thing ever because you know you're going in the right direction, right? So if I would have just let go of one thing, the one thing that I thought, you know, would have been a good thing to let go of, I would have had all the wrong things still on my plate and not had the right thing, right? Because he didn't even tell me to let go of what I was going to let go. But since I let those things go and start focusing on what I was supposed to be focusing on, I feel so much lighter and the things that I held on to are thriving already. And I just, I just really made the decision about a week or two ago. And it's amazing, just so amazing how the Lord works when you work with him, right? When you in his, in the lab with what he wants you to do, you're going to see his hand in your life for sure. We just have to know where to pivot, you know, how to pivot with the Holy Spirit and get his guidance on it, get the Lord's guidance on it. And if we get instructions prior to moving, we won't make so many mistakes. Like I definitely didn't talk to him about wholesaling, but so that's one of the things I had to let go. I ain't talked to him about that, but in my mind, I'm like, well, this will feed the, <laughs> the flipping because that's what you told me to do, right? But I was just doing too much unnecessarily, right? And the other two things that he led me to do, I moved way too fast. I got in it and I just ran with it instead of getting instructions on how and when he wanted me to do it. I have a tendency to just go. Like if he say something, I just go. And I'm grateful for that because the enemy has tried to hold me back for a little while, like still in my confidence to a point that I wasn't moving at all. So I'm grateful that I had that go in me, but I had to learn to go but slow down and get more instructions keep going back to god and get more instructions so that i don't miss it you know i don't make the mistakes that i make if he gives us the vision he'll for sure give us the provision so we got to go back to him and say okay lord how am i supposed to do this where i'm supposed to get this money from what i'm supposed to do here right and so since i didn't do that i invested time and money in places that i shouldn't which could have went to what i really should have been doing right but the Lord is faithful. And don't get me wrong, the Lord wants us to use our own intellect, our own personality, all of us, but he wants us to lean on him and talk to him about everything. Like keep going back to him and getting more instructions over and over again. He likes for us to come to him and he likes to give us the answers that we need. We need them, just go back to him, you know, and get the answers. But if you run too fast without him, be quick to seek God and pivot. It's okay. It's okay if you mess up. Just pivot quickly. I wanted to share this with you guys because it was a great experience for me. And I told y'all that I'll let you know how things go with me letting, you know, letting go of my listings and doing it in faith. Sometimes the faith walk isn't a straight line. It gets a little squiggly, <laughs> but things are still moving. I believe with everything in me that it's harvest time. Things are for sure rolling in. It was a struggle buggy for a minute, just a minute, but I thank God that his mercy endures forever and his grace helps us through everything. I'm just excited about what's ahead. I'm at peace and I feel really good about where I am right now. You know, so pivoting is nothing wrong with pivoting. Don't think just because you started on the wrong road you got to continue nah just go ahead and shift and i'll be giving you guys another update within the next couple months about what's really going on you know i have some testimonies for you i'm just speaking it into existence now i have some testimonies of what happened for me you know stepping out in faith I know, you know, my goal is to be transparent, you know, with everything, the ups, the downs, and my face steps, but we always win no matter what. It don't matter what off step you take or how it look or what, you know, what it feel like or what you do. It don't matter. You always, always win. You know, when you got Jesus on your side, you always win. So just be quick. If you make a mistake, just be quick to pivot and get in the right direction. 
If you want to see more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop new content.